you guys and Tom here with some more AFK Arena. As you can see, we're back on the Light Bear account. So our Light Bear faction account here. We're gonna go ahead and do some summons. We are on 26-60. So we are almost done with chapter 26, which we're hoping to do in this campaign push being done with 26 and into chapter 27. As you can see from the team itself, we already have eight ascended heroes. We have Thane at Legendary. Not sure who, who we're going to build next. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be Hendrick or it's going to be Oscar, depending on the copies that we pull. We have three five-star heroes already and just continuing to add more and more stars to the heroes we have here. 15,000 diamonds overall. So let's go ahead and we will get into the summons. First, we do have quite a few elite stones and Huffer One, which is a copy of Leica. Some rare stones here and then... Today is the very last day, unfortunately, of the Magician's Hat. So we will go ahead and do a summons, couple summons here. We have 1,500 of our Arcane Scrolls, hoping to get some red chests. Overall, we're still looking for a lot more red chests to continue to build Cecilia. There's five red chests right off the bat, as well as a ton of Hero EXP. We're going to be able to buy some chests out of this event as well. Couple more scrolls, a little more hero essence there. So we got three more summons with the hat. Again, five more red chests and some stargazer cards plus some essence. Very nice pull there. Two more. The amount of loot we're getting out of here is very good. Look at that. Another stargazer card, double faction scrolls, five more red chests. Remember, 10 red chests costs about 2,000 gems, so they are pretty expensive. So anytime that you can pull them for free. And look at that, a lot of gold, some more Stargazer cards. So that'll do it, we have 50 total. So let's go ahead and pick up a couple more red chests here. Which look at that, 60 more, we'll pick up some Primordials because we don't need the gold. All right, so we got a lot of red chests there. In total, we are up to 217 red chests. So we're gonna be able to continue the Signature item for Cecilia. I think she might be close to having a plus 30 signature item at this point, which is very powerful. We do have a couple Stargazer cards, a couple summons, 15,000 diamonds. So let's go ahead and we will get into the Noble Tavern. As you can see, we do have Taylene. Hopefully we can pull a copy of her. One or two would be awesome, which we got a copy of her. There we go. Got another copy of her. Continuing to build her on the faction accounts. We have had some really good luck with pulling her lately, especially getting another copy there. 11 scrolls, we have 173 companion points, 15,000 diamonds. Wish list still consists of the heroes we see here, which Hendrick we're still working on. Um, Gwen and Cecilia we're adding stars to. Rowan needs one more star. Lucius needs a couple more stars, and they will be completely five stars. So continuing to build a lot of heroes on this account as we continue our progression. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the companion summon first. Just a couple more rare cards there. We'll get right into the regular summons and then go through our diamonds. <laughs> Look at that, seven rare cards. Even though there was no elites, seven rare cards is always kind of a win. And look at that, a double, which is copies of Pharrell and Verk. Pharrell, super solid Verk. It's good. I wouldn't prioritize him as one of the top maulers, but definitely pretty good. Pharrell is definitely one of the top Graveborn heroes. A couple more rare cards. We got two more summons here. A lot more emblems we picked up right there, which Taylene, that gives us another copy. We'll have to see exactly where that takes her to at this point. Which I believe that just takes her to Legendary, so still need a couple more to get her up to Mythic, but now she is finally at the Legendary level. All right, so two more summons here, and we are going to have a card on the table as well. And look at that. Elite right off the bat, which is Shamira. Shamira we haven't built on too many accounts, but she is really good for the Dark Moor. And another elite hero here. Hopefully it's a light bearer. Tassie. So we pulled everybody but a light bearer, which we do get one free one. Hopefully it's Cecilia. It is Rowan. Always, always good to pull Rowan, which that might give us enough actually with that card to go ahead and build him. We might be able to add one more star to him. Even in here, we have Belinda at five stars. We have Rose, I believe, at five stars. 
So we're just going to save these at this point. Because we have we have Falks. I believe we do have all three at five stars. And there is Rowan. Favorite hero in the game. There he is. Five stars. So he is completely done. Signature item plus 30 at that point. So we have a lot of fodder in here. We have Rigby, which not sure about building him. Still kind of on the fence. Thane, not building him. We'll just sit on a copy, couple copies of him. Rain, the exact same. Not going to worry about building them. We just need more light bearer copies overall. But very excited to get Rowan up to Ascended, so that will actually drop him out of our wish list. We can throw Oscar back in there. Again, like most of the faction accounts, we are running out of heroes to five star. Even though light bearers have the most heroes, we have four or five stars already. Within the next couple weeks, we'll continue the progression on there. So let's go ahead and look at the Oaken Inn really quick. We'll summon up some furniture. So looking at our workshop, our wish list, as you can see, we do still have Cecilia in there. We have Hendrick in there. Lucius already has his three-piece bonus. So continuing to build him there, I wish we could sort this with the heroes we want, but I'm thinking we'll keep Hendrick in there right now because I know he's very solid with the signature item. All right, so let's go ahead and do a couple summons which it looks like an orange pull here. Not very good pull at all. Second one, which again, not very good. This will be our red pull. Hopefully we can get one or two red pieces. We haven't been too lucky on this one, which there's a red piece. It is the piano for Estrilda. So adding a little more dynamic to her. A couple more mythic, and I think that will do it for all of our summons here. We do have one card on the table, two cards on the table now. So we can actually look at who we can level up. Look at that, a little haste, a lot of crit. So Falks, we have Rose, we have Lucius, we have Rowan. I'm thinking at this point, let me take a look. I'm thinking Cecilia at this point, because she already has one item, which is really good. So every four seconds, Celia marks the enemy that has dealt the most damage with one symbol. So we'll go ahead and continue to work on Cecilia's gear overall. So let's hop back in the workshop. So we'll pick out Cecilia here and continue to build her furniture. So let's see the piece we get here. It's a new piece, which is good. And the second one will be the same. We'll pick up Cecilia. So this will give her the three set bonus. Which is another piece, the prayer furnace. All right, so let's see. That gives us a thousand more. Not enough to do another summon though. All right, so let's pop back to Cecilia. We'll go ahead and deck out her room. Look at that. Ton of health, ton of attack, defense, accuracy, Attack speed going up, crit going up, as well as getting her the three-piece bonus, which is after every four seconds, Celia marks the enemy that has dealt the most damage with one symbol of sin. So very, very cool. We're still working on her signature item as well, getting that up quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and drop a little bit more furniture in Rowan, get his dodge up a little more. Same with Lucius, he is our primary tank at this point. Folks, we use heavy, heavy CC, adding a little, more, little bit more there, and I believe that will give us enough for one more summon. Hopefully it's a red summon. Nope, just a mythic, but that's okay. We have two cards on the table, so we're actually gonna go with support because we do have Rose, we do have Rowan. So we'll continue to build both of these heroes up. Because Rowan is our pseudo tank, he's our off tank, he's our major, major support. So we'll get him a couple more pieces here, adding a little bit more to his attack, as well as Rose, giving her a little more attack. I believe that will just about do it. Blend a little more health, a little more dodge. So uh, essentially just 
even piece by piece, getting a little bit more health, getting a little bit more dodge, just building the heroes up through the furniture that we're getting. Even here, life leech, crit, tenacity, uh, more attack, more health overall because we got her first set piece bonus. I'm not sure her piece after the first 18 seconds of battles, if all allies are alive, all non-summoned allies will have their attack rating increased by 10% and defense increased by 20% to the end of battle. Wow, that is pretty, pretty good. And then yeah, nine set after 12. So three set would be pretty good on her. So overall, we are at eight red pieces of furniture. We have two heroes that we do have their three set, which is um, Lucius and Cecilia. We do have their three set for both of them. So we're going to continue to level up Cecilia at this point. So we have a lot of chess here, but increasing her attack, increasing her crit, increasing her dodge, she's going to do a lot more damage, which is essentially what we want her to do, especially because she's going to be marking multiple targets. So up to plus 28, look at that, plus 17 attack, which gave her 3,200 more attack there. So doing a ton more damage, which is awesome. We do have her three set bonus. Same with Lucius. So overall, we are set and we are ready to start pushing into the campaign. Let's pop a couple of these chests and then we will actually level up the team itself. So we got a lot more essence there. Looks like we got a couple more rare cards out of our summons. All right, we'll grab a little bit of loot right there. And that will give us enough. Let's go ahead and level up the Resonating Crystal 277. As you can see, we have 68,000 essence at this point. So accumulating a ton of essence. And I believe they're going to be the highest level team with the furthest progression. And continue to do the same because that takes the 280 already. Level 281, so I believe we are out of essence at this point. But look at that, they are already at 281, 23 million overall attack rating. So very, very powerful team. And we'll just wait to see essentially who we're gonna build here, but two, three set bonuses already. So we are ready for the campaign, 26-60. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are finally getting the campaign done, 26-60. Hopefully we can beat the stage. We're gonna drop in Cecilia for this one. That way she can hopefully take care of Arden. As you can see, she's rooted right in the back, but she does get shielded from Lucius, being able to do a lot of damage. There is her alt, completely took him out. As you can see as well, she has her alt stacks on Athalia on the other side because of her furniture bonus. So she actually can share it and she can actually alt all the way across the board, which makes her very, very powerful to go ahead and get this stage done. So this will be the conclusion of the chapter. As you can see right here, chapter 26 is done. We are into 27, 9 million, 9 million there from Rose, five from Cecilia, which is awesome to get the chapter done. So let's go ahead and get into chapter 27. So the, this is the first team and the only faction team that is into chapter 27. Other three, I believe, are all into chapter 26 at this point. Let's go ahead and swap this one around a little bit. We'll put Cecilia on the bottom. Because I'm thinking Tassie's probably going to teleport away, which there she goes. So we actually get some more damage on the tank combined with Lucius to try to burn him down. But fortunately, Cecilia, Cecilia dies pretty early on that one. But we did get both of the heroes down in the top. And of course, Tassie, very, very difficult with her teleportation ability to be able to land damage on her because she goes everywhere with that ability, making her an S-plus hero. As you can see, she's behind Rose now. Rose runs to Lucius for a double shield. And there we go. We did get Tassie down on that one. Very, very nice to finish our first stage of 27-1, which brings us to the next boss stage, 27-4. Dealing with the Maulers are not quite the problem because we swap Falks in for this one. That way we can negate Brutus' shield. Just popped up, just went down. Textbook Brutus killing. Between Nara being able to do it, Nakaruru doing really well with Brutus, and Falks being able to clear out the shield makes it very, very easy for these team comps to work together to get this done. We had to take out 
Scrag there because he cannot be CC'd. He just actually diesels right over a lot of heroes as we've seen. Very tough to CC, but let's look at the damage on this one. 18 million, eight and a half. So folks definitely putting up some damage. Bringing us to 27-8. Again, we're gonna stick with this team because I love Falk's confinability. As you can see right there, made it instant five on four, which is what we wanted. Rowan can take care of Sylvana. Sylvana doesn't really bother Rowan. We can take her out pretty quick, stacking all of the enemies like we have before with this team right against Lucius for his shielding ability. Quick little stun there, just dealing with Tassie, teleporting everywhere again. Let's look at the damage real quick here. 16 million, six and a half there from Rose, bringing us to 27-12. This one has Eron, which is okay because he'll actually bring in both targets because they placed him on the bottom, not in the middle, which is good. Fox dies really easy on this one, really early. But there's our first alt. Belinda goes down on that one. I'm hoping everyone is stacked up. Look at that. Took out Estrilda, took out Thane, just got a deal again with Tassie, which we got lucky. Caught her with the alt right after teleportation. 17 million damage there, bringing us to 27-16. Eron's in the middle of this one, so I'm hoping there's the confine. So Eron goes into the confine, taking him completely out of the battle. Even when he gets dropped back out, right there, he is on top of Lucius. Lucius can pick him up very, very easy. Took out Tassie early, and again, Rowan does not die to Silvana because of his damage reduction and his survivability. And he does stun while Lucius can heal and shield him which goes ahead and gets that stage done. 20 million there from Belinda. Bring us to a quarter of the way through 27 already. We are 20 stages in at this point, already into this chapter. So not only did we just finish it, we're already a quarter of the way, or actually a third of the way through it because there are 60 stages. Boom, double alts take out the entire team. Finishing out 27, 20, 18 million from double alt Belinda. 27-24 as we continue our push here. Again, Sylvana will go right over to Rowan. Not too worried about that, but look at that. Has Sophia's buff on him, almost taking out Rowan very, very easy, but there is the stun. Caught in a ruin the stun. Caught Shamir in the bottom with the stun. Double alts to take out a lot of the team. There's our shield. Being able to get this stage done, just leaving Sophia all by herself, which is easy to kill especially when she was, is alone. So let's look at the damage on this one. 14 million there, seven and a half from Falk. So again, Falk's putting up a little bit of damage there. 27, 28, now we're 28 stages into the chapter, which is crazy. The Light Bear team is just absolutely destroying this campaign today. We use Cecilia, we use Falk's for quite a bit. Falk's with the CC seems to perform a little bit better than Cecilia just because you have the five on four in most of the stages. Putting the damage here right at 17 million for Belinda, super, super fast. 27-32, we'll continue. We got Arden in the back on this one again. Thorin with his taint ability is very tough. As you can see, a ton of damage is going to Falks. Anything that we're pushing into Thorin is actually, a portion of it is going to Falks. Even though he's shielded, he has no hit points. Double shield, Lucius is healing him. Rowan's potions are healing him. Rowan is the support. Rowan is keeping people alive through all of this. There's the stun. Took out Rose with Thorin. We should be able to if we can alt. I'm hoping. All right, we got Thorin down. That, that is the first difficult part. Arden does a lot of damage too. Have to be super, super careful with him as well. But Belinda is still up. There's the AoE double. She used her regular AoE ability and then the alt took them out. 21.5 million damage there, which is absolutely phenomenal. 27-36. We have went through 37 stages. We're going to go ahead and swap this team up a little bit because this team is tough. We are going to need Gwen to pull out the big guns, dropping her to the middle. Um, I think I'm going to put Estrilda probably in the bottom to push back. Brutus. There we go. Everyone's on fire. Three of the four in the back line. Still keeping Belinda in here because we want her to do damage. And we want the alt. There it is. Boom. Took down Nemitsu and Savius. 
Very, very nice combination there. We just have to get Brutus down, which it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it this time. Nope, oh, our first defeat there, 27-36. Again, going with the same combination, trying to take out the back line, but Estrilda died way too early. She doesn't have the survivability that a Hendrick does or a Lucius. But we have tried this stage a ton of times. And this is, this is the one that we're stuck at right now. Even though having Rowan up front, we could swap in Hendrick. We don't have really built yet, but we do have Lucius and we have Estrilda. So just being able to, again, we need something to counter the Brutus shield, which this team does not carry. We couldn't get it done with Falks. Tried it a bunch of times with the Falks combination. Unfortunately, no luck getting this stage down at this point. Looks like a lot of it is Nemitsu's totems. The, the distraction that they provide is absolutely phenomenal. And even there, Brutus took one big swipe at Gwen, took her down, absolutely destroyed her. Another defeat there. Hoping this is going to be the combination. Let's try Rose on this one. I think Rose will probably follow Rowan, which doesn't even get a chance to. By the time she gets up there, she is absolutely done. All right, so I believe this will do it. This will do it for the Light Bears. So as you can see there, we went through a total of 36 stages, which is absolutely crazy. So pushing over half a chapter in one single push. Let's collect up all, all of our loot here. Tried that stage about 35 times. Tried it with Lucius, tried it with Falks, tried it with Cecilia. No luck on that one. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. 27-36, so push through more than half of the chapter. And as always, thank you guys for watching.